Here we are at Island Miniature Schnauzers with a pack of dogs. These are inside dogs. Some of them are boarders. Some of them are finishing up their boot camping. And they're all out together. This is in the evening, mid-July. And you hear a dog in the background barking. That's because I just switched out some dogs for summer breeding. So, dogs do not like change. Just like you and I, we don't like change. So, they're just sorting that out. We were just doing our final um, summer breeding. There. There we go. There's my dyro. There's a border, you know who who. There's another border. Here's a boot camper. <laughs> yes, hi. A boot camper. Yep. He's all finished up. He's gonna go home next week. And we're gonna show his mummy and daddy and his sister how to keep him well trained. <laughs> there we go. The daisies are out in the garden. <laughs> Beautiful evening. So you being a pack leader, when you work with a pack of dogs, you have to teach the dogs what your expectations are. And that could take minutes or it could take days or it could take weeks. And then all you have to do is correct when you need to correct. And that's what I've done with these, these kids. They know what my expectations are. And that is get along. You can be a little bit verbal, but don't escalate. And they escalate, they get a harsh word from me. And if that doesn't work, then they get a rope leash on them. And then I take them back to the dog that had caused the dog to react. So you have to correct, and then you have to show what your expectations are. Otherwise, how are they going to find out? Now that was just a little, a little talk. There's no worries there. Yeah. Remember that dogs are like five-year-olds, right? Like you might have an adult dog, but um, mentally it's like a five-year-old. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Dyro wants to play. And Toby says, I really don't want to play that game. Dakota, he's a good boy. Look at him. This dog is always a good boy. Aren't you? Yeah, Dakota's always a good boy. Yes. He goes running with his daddy. Run, 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 run. Daddy wanted a dog that could keep up with him because he's a marathon runner. So he got Dakota. And that's how, we, or, that's how we advertised him. Looking for a family that loves to hike or run. And that's why he's so fit. <laughs> the other kids. Now I have two other boarders inside, but they've already had their romping. So they've gone to bed. That's perfect. Nice and quiet, just like the evening. Nice, nice and quiet. So remember people, you're the one that's responsible for your behavior of your dog. It's up to you, okay? I can train your dog to do what is expected, but when I deliver the dog or when you pick up a dog and I train you or Deb trains you, you have to keep that up. Just because you got your dog trained doesn't mean it's going to stay well trained unless you keep it up maintenance mental maintenance so keep that in mind <laughs> look at the stance on him beautiful huh you good boy he's a good boy yes 
Well, that's about it. Oh, here comes my die roll. <laughs> Dairo is the ambassador of the farm. He tries to keep everybody calm and to be compliant. And Dairo, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's my dog. Yes, he's my dog. We go everywhere together, in, uh, but in heart, we don't go in heart cars, but we go up in the bush and we go and clean together and he's my dog. A Dairo? He's a good boy. Yeah. All righty then. So that's it. So uh, we'll be doing more videos tomorrow. Thanks Thank for watching. All the best. And remember, join up, be one, and have fun with your dog.